Imagine taking an image of a product from your phone and turning that into a professional photo shoot or even an image of a hat or an item of clothing and putting that into a model that doesn't exist, removing letters or numbers from an image or even cleaning an entire room with one single prompt. That is exactly what Flux from Black Forest Labs allows you to do. And in this video, we're gonna go through the entire capabilities and how you can start using this incredible tool for free today. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run an online community where we help more than 500 small business owners rank number one in the AR overviews, GPT search and perplexity using a lot of AI tools like the one I'm gonna show you today. Let's get cracking. What you need to do is create an account with Black Forest Labs. Now they're creating these incredible models called the Flux models. And before you were only able to use them by the API, which was a bit tricky if you weren't kind of tech savvy, but now they've created a playground which makes things incredibly easy to use. And I love this also because it's a pay as you go feature, meaning if you forget about it, you're not gonna get charged for it like a monthly subscription, which is a plus for me. So we're gonna go through all of the capabilities that I showed you in the beginning, but also we're going to start generating images because it is phenomenal at that, right? So let's say I want to create an image for a burger joint. I've got a prompt here of a pretty uh, big prompt here. All I did was reverse engineer, give it an image of a burger to GPT and told it to make the prompt of it. I'm gonna use another model here. So not the context models because they're to maintain the context of the image. I'm gonna use Flux uh, 1.1 Ultra, which is their best model to generate the images. So I'm gonna also pick uh, another aspect ratio. Let's go uh, nine by 16 and perfect i'm gonna hit enter now i just want to show you the image that i got as an example which was this one here let's see how close we can come to it or how even a burger joint can start using this tool to make more images of their products boom here we go pretty delicious looking burger and it just looks a little bit more crisp than the other image do that what you will. Obviously, the better you prompt it, the more it will adhere to the styles, but for me, that's already fantastic. So let's get to the capabilities of the context stuff where it can keep the context of the image, but change things about it. If you go to the edit tab at the bottom here after you make an account, by the way, you're gonna get $200, 200 free credits to use in the beginning. They've got these preset kind of templates for you to start using already. One of them is a product photo. I think that one is probably the most useful one. You can see here, you take an image and on the other side of the prompt will be a professional image. So let's try it right away. I've got here, for example, a Stanley uh, Thermos and we can probably try another one as well. I've created a bunch for this and this Rode mic that I'm using at the moment. Let's try the mic first, then we're gonna use the Stanley Cup. So I haven't prompted anything, I'm just using the preset that they have. You don't have to use the preset, you can upload the image and describe everything, but it's also nice to just start, click and drag with one click and it's kinda of done. Cool, and now I have the Rode mic pretty much exactly as the image that we gave it with a complete white background, so I can place it anywhere else. Let's take a look at the other images here. In another setting, a little dusty, it must have got it from the dust that I've got, but not too bad. A close up again of it quite used. Great, and something I might place in an ad. Not too bad at all. Let's try with the Stanley Thermos to see if it can create a wonderful product image or at least something that I can start using. So I'm gonna go generate four images. I haven't given it a prompt or anything. Let's see what it does. Perfect, so again, it does the white image in the background. Very useful, I can start using that in you know my e-commerce store, for example. Uh, let's see. Nice, that is uh, with my hand there, which is fine, but it's out camping and it's even got the kind of slightly used uh, logo from the image. So that's really accurate. And then just another angle from that image. Really useful. You can probably turn this into a better photo shoot. So let's try that. I'm gonna place that image here and I'm just going to go with a simple prompt. Put this product, this Stanley Thermos, in a professional photo shoot. It's outside in a forest in a picnic chair next to some coffee mugs. Unreal, perfect. Uh, <laughs> that is kind of spot on. I should have said picnic table. That was my mistake, but it still got it right. Beautiful. So professional product image done. Now let's try this image and remove the all the wording and lettering from it. So I'm gonna drop it uh, in there. I'm gonna select the right preset though. It's got one here, so remove all the text. Fantastic, I'll drop it in there. 
and drop that image there. I'm just gonna say generate with the preset already selected that's going to remove all the letters and the wording. Cool, so interestingly, it didn't get it on the first go. Sometimes it's got this request moderated, but on the fourth one, it got it pretty spot on. So that is check. Sometimes you do need to fiddle with it, but for the most part, it gets things right the first time. I think one of the best requests that I've had from the community is, hey, I am in the real estate industry and sometimes I get these horrible in images from the tenants where the bathroom is a little bit of a mess. Does this solve this? 100%, let's try it out. So I'm going to drop this here and just describe it. Can you clean the bathroom, close the toilet lid, remove all the towels and just make it look pristine, please? Perfect, so let's take a look. It's closed the toilet lid, it's removed all the towels and everything from there. This looks like a photo that I'm happy to upload into that product or into the profile for the house or the room. And the idea here is what I actually like about it is that it doesn't improve vastly the photo quality because sometimes when you give this to GPT and you give it a similar prompt, it'll do it but it'll improve the image quality sometimes to an extent that it'll make it too good and it'll just take it out of reality a little bit. So that is a check. I really like the fact that it can do this. And lastly, let's see if we can recolorize this image. I'm gonna to go to the edit function again, start over. And there's a preset here, I think. There it is, recolorize this image. And let's see what it comes up with. Not too bad, so I think um, wow, by far this one is pretty much the best one. We can then also continue to edit the image, right? For example, have the kid holding a lollipop, right? This is the generated image of the colorized image, right, that I gave it. Let's see if it adheres the character itself, but then adds a little lollipop to the kid. Unreal, and it's given me all the examples of him eating it inside the mouth, I think. This one is perfect, it's fantastic. You get the idea, very easy to use tool. The image quality is amazing and we haven't even touched on the text capabilities of it. This one here, let's edit and let's change the word flux point one for AI ranking. Cool, so it's did ranking, ranking, AI, ranking. Uh, this one is probably the best one. AI ranking didn't fit in there, so I decided to do that, but not too bad. I mean, uh, yeah, I still get pretty amazed by the quality of this thing. And now you know how to use an incredibly powerful AI image generated tool for most of your marketing needs. But if you want to learn how to rank, let's say your e-commerce business so that you actually get the traffic that sees the high quality images that then convert, you wanna watch this tutorial series here that is all about how to do SEO in 2025.